Hello, here I am again. I'm giving a, an explanation of the Sane Smart motor driver board that I purchased. Um, the version I purchased is right here, the L293D motor drive shield uh, for the Uno Rev3. And as you can see, only eight bucks. That's a good deal. Um, there are uh, other ones, uh, the Arafat board is slightly more and probably has better uh, documentation, but uh, I thought I would try out this one and it was recommended as good quality, so I uh, went with that one, went with this one. So what we have here is a motor drive shield that will control four motors, two DC, uh, a stepper motor and a servo motor. Um, it has separate input. Each motor is one, two, th uh, three, four, <clears throat> and uh, uh, it just connects right on top of your Arduino Uno. Um, it does drive the, the three motors quite well, or it'll even drive, I believe, uh, four DC motors, which I have not uh, had hooked up yet, but um, will do shortly. Um, there are some things you need to get. Um, for instance, in order to get this board to work, you have to have these two library add-ons that I got from Adafruit. Um, one is the Excel Stepper Master and the Adafruit, Adafruit Motor Shield uh, Library. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> when you download these and install them, they all work, uh, except the Excel Stepper Master Library, you need to remove the dash master or it won't work and compile. The, um, the code I use to run these is right here. Um, it has um, the DC motor set up, the stepper motor set up, the servo motor set up. And then from here, from the void set up where you start, these are the different uh, initialization for different motors that you can see running here. And in the loop, <clears throat> this portion here runs the DC motors. This portion here runs the stepper motor. And then the servo motor is right here. So, you put that all together, you compile it with the correct libraries uh, installed in your Arduino library, and they all function, they all should function well. Um, there, since you cannot get to the pins on underneath the board, because underneath the motor drive board, because all the pins are used, um, you can, <clears throat> uh, whoops, that's the wrong one. You can get a wing shield, which looks like this, uh, fundamentally, you plug a left side and the right side in first, and then you plug the motor shield on top into these female prongs, or uh, female uh, plugs. Um, Amazon has a version um, which is only, uh, says here, 10 bucks. Uh, any, any of these would work, and it would be nice because then you have the ability to uh, access the analog pins and pin two and pin 13 if you wanted to prototype more on the board. Other than that, um, I uh, found a glitch with the um, Adafruit documentation for this board. It says that pin nine is servo motor one and in actuality pin 10 is servo one, pin nine is servo two. Um, so, when you go to wire it up, keep that in mind. Also, when I first wired up, I wasn't under the assumption that you had to uh, use the ground on each side, but you don't. You just use uh, motor four, the fir these last two pins, screws, anchors, motor three, these last two. You don't use the ground to make the motors work. Same with the DC. Motor one, you use uh, positive, negative, skip the ground. Motor two, positive, negative and you wire it up and they run with the, the code provided. 
Other than that, I'm very happy with the board. Um, I hope this uh, helps you resolve some issues. You will need uh, a battery pack, most likely the double A's. The nine volt didn't last very long. And you wire it in here into the uh, power inlet on the board and you must uh, wire it correctly. There is a positive here on the left and a negative on the right or ground on the right. Um, and it's marked clearly on the board and it does say somewhere uh, in the Adafruit uh, that it is critical that you wire these correctly because you could damage this board and or the board below it, uh, the Arduino. So keep that in mind. Other than that, very happy with the board and it, it works great.